So I recently got a couple of these True Catalyst 9X goalie sticks and I figured it was a good opportunity to show you guys how I take my sticks but I'm also going to run to the pro shop real quick and show you guys how the paddle length differs from brand to brand. So let's get in here and check it out. So super quick here, you can see the difference in paddle length. These are all 25 inch paddles and the very back is that Bauer stick sitting a lot taller than the CCM and the True stick which are about the same height and then obviously the Warrior in front there that's a lot shorter but let's go ahead and jump in here and get these True sticks taped up. So when it comes to taping my sticks, I don't really have a big preference on color. Usually I'll try to match the color to what the stick is. So. For the white stick, I'm gonna use the white tape up here on the shaft and then I'll probably use black tape down here on the blade. And then I'll just do all black tape here for the black stick. So starting off with the blade, I, I'm kind of weird about how I tape my blade. It kind of goes back to when I was younger using those you know, wood sticks, foam core sticks. And I would use a ton of tape to help protect the stick and basically keep it together. But uh, I like to start kind of up here towards the bottom of the paddle and then make my way down towards the toe. So I'll usually get two passes right there and then I'll get this one right at the heel and then try to keep it nice and tight all the way through. Kind of funny. When I was younger, I'd tape my sticks and you know all the players would kind of look at how I was taping it all the way up here and you know they would say, oh man, like do you need help taping your stick? I can do it for you. No buddy. Trust me, I got a system. Leave it be. Same thing for this other stick. Usually I'll take any excuse I can to rock black tape, the old black tape bandits, but not a very popular stick tape, so shops usually have plenty of it. There we go. Couple of fresh blades, ready to go. Now getting into the grip just above the paddle. Want to help support Bonesy TV? Use the Pure Hockey link in the description for all your online hockey purchases and this channel will automatically receive a kickback. Link in description. I've recently started doing basically the Casimir Casca Suo grip, really building it up and getting those grooves in there for the fingers. I really like the thicker grip. It kind of reminds me like a, like a thick tennis racket and uh, really able to get a good handle on the stick. Cool thing about the new True stick is uh, this kind of shape on the heel. It's not really like a, a traditional shape. Uh, I have my older stick here for comparison and you can see it, it kind of slopes off. This is the old one, there's the new one and um, you know, kind of has a nice slope here, which uh, I actually really like. So we'll see how it feels once it's all said and done, but let's get this grip all taped up. So to start, I'm gonna have to build up the grip here, which is gonna take a lot of tape, to be honest, but I usually like to do it um, about the length of these three fingers where I'm gonna get that grip and kind of build things up where this finger is gonna lock in. I will say the one downside to this tape job style is that it, man, it really does eat up a ton of tape, but I've really been liking the feel of it. So, you know, it's just gonna have to eat up a lot of tape. All right, I think we've built up enough material. Now it's time to add the grooves. We gotta do the old uh, 
Spin trick. I like to really get in there and just go ahead and spin it up. So I really like to try to line this up right where that finger is. That seems like a good spot right there. And then pull this other one through right where that next finger is gonna be. And then from here, I'll just go from the top down, back over these grooves. Doesn't matter how messy I get because I'm ultimately gonna go over this with some grip tape, kind of clean things up. Boom, there you go. Nice and locked in. Like I said, I really like that thicker grip. Kind of reminds me of a, a tennis racket grip. Oh yeah, nice and locked in. Like I said, I'll take the grip tape, cover up that mess I just made. And same thing for this other stick. There we go, that one's a little better. Honestly, I, I kind of like the murdered outlook on this. Also, I'm out of yellow grip tape, so don't really have much of a choice right now, but got a couple grips there on the handle. Moving up the shaft, I do want to put on this twig cover. Usually I, I break a lot of sticks at the shaft, so I'm going to try out this twig cover, put this thing on here, throw a couple lines of tape. Obviously this is something I would really only use for practices, which is where I end up breaking most of my sticks. But Hopefully putting this thing on here is gonna help make this stick last a lot longer. But now that we got that on there, time to do the butt end. And I have my old stick here to show you how I used to do my butt end. Nice and simple, but I really like this taper here at the top, which is kind of a whole process, but I still do something very similar. But again, I like to add a lot of thickness here, just like uh, Kaskasuo does. So let's see how much tape this is gonna take. The cool thing about these new true sticks is just how light they are. When I pulled these things out of the box, I was genuinely shocked by how light they are. I mean, Bauer's pretty well known for being, you know, the lightest sticks on the market. And I think True's really trying to give them a run for their money with the new catalyst sticks they have here, man, so light. All right, let's go ahead and add the grooves. And then I will add the butt end at the very end. made it to the butt end. So to do my tapered butt end that I like to do, I'm basically just gonna build this up with the regular thickness of the tape, get it to about the third of the way that I want it to be. Yeah, that's probably good right there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and rip it off, and then I'm gonna rip this tape in half, but I'm gonna leave one side a little thicker than the other so that I have that tapered finish so you can see one side is a little bit thicker than the other. I'm gonna take that thicker side and uh, I'm gonna let this go ahead and split right down the center all the way through. So that I basically get three different thicknesses on these three different passes. Almost there. 
Now let's go to this thinner one. Go ahead and finish her off. Boom, there we go. And of course, can't forget, gotta cover up the grooves that we made. Nice and clean. And of course, if I had some grip tape, I would put it on there, but just about out of it. Got a good grip down there. Got a good grip up here. Got the twig cover on there. We're all set to go with this one. Like I said, I really like this tapered finish on the knob. Kind of fits right where my hand is. And then I got the grooves to get that locked in feel. Uh, like I said, it's a ton of tape, but really comfortable and good feel when uh, playing the puck and when I'm holding the stick in my hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish things up here on this black one. Uh, I can't wait to really try these out. I haven't had a chance to try these out yet. And like I said, super light. I really like the shape at the heel uh, down here at the grip. And with all this tape that I got on here, can't wait to see how everything feels. Let me know what you think about this tape job. Is it a little too much? Do you think you would do something different? How do you typically like to tape your stick? Thanks again for watching and as always, we'll see you around.